North Carolina voters began heading to the polls early on Tuesday to decide whether to send Donald Trump back to the White House or elevate Kamala Harris to the Oval Office. Voters were seen casting their ballot for the U.S. election at one station in Black Mountain. North Carolina is one of seven closely watched swing states that could give its electoral votes to either Trump or Harris. Other voting locations also opened across the nation on Tuesday morning as voters faced a stark choice between two candidates who have offered drastically different temperaments and visions for the world's largest economy and dominant military power. Harris, the Democratic vice president, stands to be the first female president if elected. She has promised to work across the aisle to tackle economic worries and other issues without radically departing from the course set by President Joe Biden. Trump, the Republican former president, has vowed to replace thousands of federal workers with loyalists, impose sweeping tariffs on allies and foes alike, and stage the largest deportation operation in U.S. history. Multi-talented music titan Quincy Jones has died at 91. His publicist said he died on Sunday night at his home in the Bel Air section of Los Angeles, surrounded by his family. Tonight, with full but broken hearts, we must share the news of our father and brother Quincy Jones passing, the family said in a statement. And although this is an incredible loss for our family, we celebrate the great life that he lived and know there will never be another like him. Jones left a vast legacy that ranged from producing Michael Jackson's historic thriller album to writing prize-winning film and television scores. He also collaborated with Frank Sinatra, Ray Charles and hundreds of other recording artists. Jones rose from running with gangs on the south side of Chicago to the very heights of show business, becoming one of the first black executives to thrive in Hollywood and amassing an extraordinary musical catalog that includes some of the richest moments of rhythm and song. He kept company with presidents and foreign leaders, movie stars and musicians, philanthropists and business leaders. He toured with Count Basie and Lionel Hampton, arranged records for Sinatra and Ella Fitzgerald, composed the soundtracks for Roots and, in the heat of the night, organized President Bill Clinton's first inaugural celebration and oversaw the all-star recording of We Are the World, the 1985 charity record for famine relief in Africa. Top honors likely go to his productions with Jackson, Off the Wall, Thriller, and Bad, were albums near universal in their style and appeal. Jones' versatility and imagination helped set off the explosive talents of Jackson as he transformed from child star to the king of pop. On such classic tracks as Billie Jean and Don't Stop Till You Get Enough, Jones and Jackson fashioned a global soundscape out of disco, funk, rock, pop, R&B and jazz and African chants. For Thriller, some of the most memorable touches originated with Jones, who recruited Eddie Van Halen for a guitar solo on the genre-fusing Beat It and brought in Vincent Price for a ghoulish voiceover on the title track. Thriller sold more than 20 million copies in 1983 alone and has contended with the Eagles' greatest hits 1971-1975, among others as the best-selling album of all time. The list of his honors and awards fills 18 pages in his 2001 autobiography, Q including 27 Grammys at the time, now 28, an Honorary Academy Award and an Emmy for Roots. He also received France's Legion d'honneur, the Rudolf Valentino Award from the Republic of Italy and a Kennedy Center tribute for his contributions to American culture. He was the subject of a 1990 documentary, Listen Up, The Lives of Quincy Jones, and a 2018 film by daughter Rashida Jones. 
His memoir made him a best-selling author.